everyone. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Zavallos. Hopefully uh, uh, you're listening to this as your curiosity grows for the emotion code. And um, I'm out here in Las Vegas and I'm actually doing a journal of my progress as I become an emotion code practitioner. And this is actually a new video because this is a, a new, um, new phone that I got. So uh, if for some reason the detail is higher, well, this is this is why. So um, anyway, I can actually make videos late at night because I actually brought some lights here. So you're seeing some new new things that I'm adding to the, um, so I can be consistent with the video. So this is actually emotion code uh, entry number eight. So um, basically today we're talking about three different things. One is processing, uh, two is the magnetocardiograph, and then number three is emotion code sensitivity. So um, for those of you who are curious for those three things, you can actually follow me uh, in my journey. Monday through Friday, I'm going to be doing a periscope. Just look up Emmanuel Zavallos. That's my name um, with one M. Emmanuel Zavallos. Uh, Zavallos is Z as in zebra, E, V as in Victor, A, L, L, O, S. So um, actually just recently, probably about a week ago, I sent in my paperwork to get certified. I'm really excited about it. And um, I've worked with over maybe 37 people so far uh, in my journey. So um, so let's get started. So number one is processing. So what is processing? So uh, for those of you who have taken the course or maybe you've been treated yourself, hopefully your practitioner has told you that you're going to go through some times where um, you're going to experience, um, it's sort of like I call it like a sort of a spiritual surgery. Um, they're taking away trapped emotions. What is a trapped emotion? A moment in, in a moment of time where you actually uh, were very overwhelmed with some type of emotion. And it actually got lodged. It's like picture like a negative energy that got lodged uh, somewhere inside your body. And basically it just got stuck there and it basically changes your magnetic field. What happens, it sort of distorts it. And then what happens is later on you start receiving symptoms. For example, someone will, might have a backache or a neck ache and the, the actual uh, symptom makes no sense. They don't know where it came from. And doctors are usually just treating it to be able to, um, you know, fix it and they don't know what the root cause is. Well, the root cause, according to Dr. Bradley Nelson, is that it uh, is a trapped emotion lodged inside your body. It's the size of a uh, cantaloupe or a um, tennis ball, and it's located, usually connected to some organ. Um, and so that's what we're trying to treat here, is actually trying to remove that negative energy from you through energy healing and through magnets, which actually I did get my, my Nikon magnets here. So I don't know if you could uh, see this pretty clearly here. It's pretty cool. Um, it has a very high magnetic charge, and um, depending if you're present here, uh, you know, present here with me in the office, I'm usually putting this on your back. Or if I'm doing it via proxy, which means you're in a different location, I'm actually putting this over my my forehead because um, I'm touching the prime meridian over here and putting it to the back of my neck. So anyway, processing uh, to let you know is something that you're gonna have to go through. And I t I tell the people that I've worked with that. I really don't want you to go through this, but I believe it's part of the healing process. And Dr. Bradley also believes that too. So anything that I've learned, it's not because of me, it's because of what he's taught me either in his course or what I've read in his book. And so according to that, processing is basically the first two days after you receive a emotion code treatment um, or a body code treatment. And a body code is the second part of the emotion code, which I haven't actually done yet, but I've done the emotion code so far. So uh, basically being able to remove pain and um, trapped emotions and also heart walls. And uh, you might be able to look some information up on that on Google. So for the most part, processing is just um, those two days where you're going to either be receiving a high peace, high joy. And uh, I tell them like it's almost like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. So you might receive this like sudden joy or ecstasy. Um, or on the other hand, you might receive echoes of the trapped emotions that you experienced before. And so I tell people, I'm like, when I'm actually working with them and getting rid of these trapped emotions, I actually ask them, I said, you know, does this sound, um, does this sound true to you that at this age, you basically were overwhelmed with this emotion? 99.99% .99 said, yeah, I think I, I did experience that. But how I really solidify that they actually had that trapped emotion is I ask them, I say, hey, so are you sensitive? Um, like, is it, does it take too much to provoke you to that emotion? So for example, if it's like anxiety or, um, I'm sorry, if it's like, you know, worthlessness or hopelessness, um, does it take a lot for someone to push you to feel hopeless? And they go, no, actually, 
Um, I've had that my whole life. So it kind of rings true that they have that trapped emotion. So that's number one. So I just want to let you know that um, processing is something that I, I make myself available for my clients like a lot um, just to let them know, hey, listen, I'm going to be here for you. And if there's anything that I can do for you for the next two days, uh, you might feel a little loopy. I call it loopy, kind of like the, the next two days. You might go through a really high or really low, um, but be close to your friends, people that um, are here to uh, lift you, you know. Uh, if anger was one of your trapped emotions, I probably wouldn't recommend you to just go home and just let it all out to your wife or your husband. Um, so I, I tell them that. I said, don't, don't, uh, don't re-experience these trapped emotions and then start, you know, wailing on somebody. So, um, so that's it. That's what processing is. And I always have to, I've like a hundred percent of the time, I always tell them you're going to experience, uh, this, uh, emotion roller coaster the next two days. But then after that, it's all uphill from there. So that's number one. Number two, there's a magnetocardiograph. So what is that? So basically it's a, you know, they used to use, um, you know, just reg regular cardiograph, you would see the heartbeat moving up and down. With the magnetocardiograph, it's actually test the, um, the, the power of the, the energy coming from your heart. And it looks like this huge tube that goes over someone. Um, you should just Google it, magneto, uh, magnetocardiograph, and you'll see this huge tube that's basically pointed at someone's heart. And they found out that it actually has a frequency that goes about 10 to 12 feet. And so um, just we're learning more and more and more that that the, the heart is almost like a second brain and that uh, according to Dr. Bradley Nelson that when we when we have these heart walls uh, basically a moment where your body was trying to protect yourself from a traumatized event or from an overwhelming emotion and uh, even some people that they say like you know hey I wanted to leave the earth I don't want to be here anymore so what they do is they, they cover themselves subconsciously they cover themselves with a heart wall and this heart wall uh, actually protects them for the time, but it's a double-edged sword. It, it actually uh, doesn't help them in the long run because it desensitizes them. It helps them to not find their mission in life. It helps them or it doesn't help them to receive love or to give love. So it's this wall that they're walking around with and it basically, um, it short changes them in life. So um, according to Dr. Bradley Nelson, 80% of people have that. So um, that's one of the things that I do is I'm able to remove that from them and other practitioners that are out there. We just remove this heart wall so they can find their mission, they can receive love, they can give love. And um, it's really life changing. It's something that's like really they, they feel it like as if this fog lifted from them. And uh, it's a but like I said, it's really cool that the more we go into this emotion code, which I believe is the future of medicine, is that the, mag uh, the magnetocardiograph shows that the heart actually has a frequency and that we're, we're actually resonating with other people. So I just wanted to share with you, you should look it up, Mark, magnetocardiograph, and just know that um, just because it's unseen doesn't mean it's not happening. Just because you can't see oxygen doesn't mean it's not there. Just because you don't see the magnetic field of your heart doesn't mean that it's not there, that it does matter that you have your full potential of your heart and that it uh, it's uh, involved in your relationships, it's involved in your business, it's involved in everything. It's basically like you want to make sure you have high um, potency with um, people feeling your vibration from your heart, but you can't do that if you have a heart wall. So um, if actually in the, in the business that I used to be in, um, in direct sales, uh, they used to talk about how 70% of people for some reason quit. So I felt kind of disturbed about them, like 70%. That's a, that's a huge percentage. And um, I realized that um, maybe most of them quit because they had a heart wall. And what happened was is that they lost hope or they maybe gave up on themselves due to the fact that they had a heart wall. Or what about the ratio of 50% of people get divorced? I, you know, Dr. Bradley believes that some people came together and maybe they had trapped emotions or they had a heart wall and then basically they could have been good for each other but because they their, their emotions and their heart wall got in the way they both split up so again heart wall could save a relationship or actually if you're in a very toxic relationship um the heart wall will, will the, the heart will actually tell you get out of this it's not something that's serving you and that's why you'll see women or men in a very toxic relationship going you know just in there and you're telling them hey that's a very bad relationship don't do that uh, don't be there anymore and then they still keep coming back that's someone who has a heart wall it's, it's desensitized them um, from uh, feeling that they're in a bad relationship so um, that's something that we can also do is help you remove that so that way you can uh, you know find your life purpose feel love more receive love more um, just overall just uh, increase your energy that comes from your heart 
And the last thing is emotion code sensitivity. The other day I was working on a, on a client um, for my certification and then it was kind of interesting that, um, you know, he's actually able to see or feel the trapped emotion on someone's body. And um, I'm just starting to uh, feel more sensitive to the needs of people. I've noticed that something that we all have in common is we have pain. And what's really interesting is I love going up to someone and basically like actually feeling the trapped emotion it actually has a field and you can actually put your hand on it. And Dr. Bradley Nelson has done this before. And there's like, it's kind of this weird waterfally cold feeling on your hands. And, um, I just never knew, uh, like a couple of years ago, I'd be able to feel someone's trapped emotion inside of them. That's actually a real feeling that, uh, I can actually like, it, 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 it basically embraces my hand. So anyway, um, I'm excited to get my emotion code sensitivity higher because at some point, I guess it'll be a lot faster to find people's trapped emotions. Uh, right now I go through this graph and I go through everything to find emotions, but I think it'll be quicker. Like basically your sixth sense will increase as you, um, keep continue using the emotion code. So with that, hopefully you guys gained some value from this today. I talked about processing. Number two, I talked about the magnetocardiograph and number three, I talked about emotion code sensitivity. So if you like this and like you're someone who's interested in the emotion code or becoming a practitioner, hopefully you'll follow me Monday through Friday. If you're, uh, if you have Periscope, you can actually join me live. If you have questions, I'll be answering them on Friday. Um, but, um, it's at 8 30 AM Pacific standard time. You can follow me. You can subscribe below and uh, you can actually get this video Monday through Friday. Uh, I'll be more consistent with it. And also, uh, you can follow me on Periscope if you want to ask questions live. Again, it's on, uh, under Emmanuel Zavio. So I'll leave the link below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I always mention, I always end my, my videos like this, that the world has a false notion where if I take care of you, you take care of me. But we all know that if we take care of ourselves, we can authentically take care of others. That's what the emotion code means for me is that I can take care of myself. And then as I go into a relationship, I can, I can take care of others. Or I, as I go into a business, I can take care of others. And as we take care of ourselves, we can actually change our home. We can change our city. We can change our country. And we can change the world. So with that, this is Emmanuel Zavio signing off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You gained some value from it. And feel free to share it with your friends. Have them subscribe and they can get more information about the emotion code. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.